Hello and welcome to Rungor, the beginner experience. This is actually available on Steam at the moment. It's a demo, as you might expect, because the full game isn't yet out. And if you'd like to check it out and indeed play the demo yourself, there is a link in the description. Now, bear in mind, this is actually one of the more unique takes on the deck building roguelike kind of formula, because this is actually an auto battler slash auto runner. So what's going to be happening is your character is going to be consistently running through a variety of environments, fighting a variety of enemies, and you have no energy, no mana, no nothing. The only limit is how quick and how strategic you can use your cards to their fullest. So let's begin. This is actually the first time I have played the game. So we're going to see how this goes. And as you can see, we have 50 HP, we have 4 damage, and I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting a wonderful tutorial from uh, Pseudo Paperclip Man. Alright, running forward is cool, but you know what's even cooler? For example, Cold-Blooded Murder. Yes, indeed, Cold-Blooded Murder. So, here we go. Battles happen automatically, so don't worry about them too much. And you can see here, every single enemy and yourself has kind of like a timer. So the timer will go to the end of the bar, and then eventually your hero will eliminate the opponent. However, look at this. Oh hey, this cursed deck drops some cards. Awesome. You could pick up some of them for the next battle if you feel like killing an enemy isn't enough. Alright, so let's just take uh, all of this and then fight. There we go. All right. So now what we could do is we can actually, I guess I'll add a couple of cards for you, he says. So now what we can do is, here's the thing. As I said before at the very start, these cards don't have any cost. You can use them for free and almost limitlessly. However, that might actually be a bit of a downside if you use too many cards against an opponent that you're going to have a pretty easy time against. So let's be a little bit cautious. Use as many cards as you want. Turn your enemies into a bloody mess. Grind their bones to dust. More blood for the blood god. <laughs> of course, of course. So here we go. Hero attacks, hero attacks the opponent. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. And he, there we go. He killed it. And that's what you do. So you basically just, you don't even have to target, you see. You don't even have to target. Basically, the hero will just attack a random opponent by the looks of things just by swiping upwards i mean i'm obviously using a mouse at the moment i don't know whether i'm not sure if this is coming out on mobile or anything like that but generally just the standard move your cards from your hand onto the playing field will use them and uh, that armor rack didn't have any bones well whatever it did drop some qu equipment for you though if you pick that up it will stay with you forever or until you equip something else in the same slot all right, and this is going to increase our weapon attack by two, which is absolutely incredible. That is really, really useful. So we're just going to attack here and boom, just eliminate that guy. Now, bear in mind that we have an artifact at the moment that actually heals us, as you can see right here. It heals us for 10% of our max HP after the fight. So every single time we kill something, uh, or should we say we finish a fight, we're going to be gaining five HP, which is actually really, really useful. So, did you notice that your health went up? That's because of your starting artifact. Every hero has one. It tries its best, so be grateful. Indeed, I am very, very grateful indeed. And here we go. Mr. Huggies is literally going to be the boss. If you squint your eyes really hard, you can make out a silhouette of your next opponent and all their stats. But who cares? Cool kids blindly throw themselves into battles anyway. Alright, so, apparently, um... Really? Is this true? Don't play cards after five seconds gives up. I will move this window so it won't get in the way. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we already kind of um, saw what was going on there. I'm actually wondering whether that is actually true. Um, let's see what happens. I'm not going to attack for five seconds. Or I'm not going to use cards for five seconds. Uh, no, 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 he did actually give up. There we go. Hey, congrats on defeating the boss. It seems like you have reached the end of the tutorial, and now you have some more levels to do. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for that, sir. And there we have it. And now we've unlocked the jungle level. I'm very interested to see what's going on here. Oh, we also have a, a dungeon level as well. I actually wonder whether the, the dungeon level will be available in the demo. 
I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, a forgotten road in the forgotten forest. No one remembers where it leads to. <laughs> Indeed, classic. All right, so... Obviously, there are a bunch of um, I, I love the I love the humor in the game. Actually, I think the humor in the game is actually very amusing. So it says, choose your guy, night guy, or person, silhouette person, or uh, the other. I don't even know who who that is. So yes, anyway, recovers HP after battle. That's our artifact, of course, and pioneered kicking down doors. All right, so night guy is who we're going to be using right here. Okay, so applies mark. I'm going to give myself some armor here. Don't think I'm really going to need anything more than that. So we're just going to allow my knight to do damage. And there we go. I'm just going to save the rest of the cards. Because you never know, you might need them. All right, so choose three cards. We're going to choose this, this, this. I have no idea what any of these do, but I'm basically just going to be doing this. Attacks an enemy, gives an attack card. Okay, we're going to do this, this, and this. And then we'll be fine. There we go, and we'll heal ourselves for 5 HP. Bear in mind, this is, you see, you see what I'm talking about? This is very, very fast paced. So if an enemy is marked, it gives twice the amount of armor. So that's also something that we should really bear in mind. Okay, so we're going to mark the next opponent. Mark the next opponent, and then we're going to give 12, 12 armor to ourselves. That's incredible. And uh, I'm basically just gonna just gonna stand here. I'm just gonna stand here. I don't think I really need to. Do I need to worry? I might actually need to worry. No, never never mind. Okay, I thought I did, but I actually didn't. So I think I, I might have wasted something. While you were running past some shady character, they managed to sell you a loot box. But which one? The Starlight. Free cards. Keep running. All right. So we got some free cards. That's pretty nice. And we're going to choose some additional cards. Increases attack for five seconds. That could actually be kind of useful. We're going to take the attack and the stun one. And then we'll take uh, increase all armor gain by one. We're going to take a hat. Why not? Sounds like a fun idea. And let's do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. And he's dead. Okay. I killed him a bit too fast. Yes. I was not actually anticipating that. This fearsome enemy has no abilities. <laughs> All right, good to know, good to know. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking these things right here. And, oh, wait a minute, increase it. Oh, increase attack speed by one. I'm going to take that, thank you. Yeah, 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 that sounds fun. That sounds really, really fun. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just use all of these, and then I'm just going to double my armor. Now I've got 33 armor, which is actually kind of crazy. Um, I don't know whether we're actually even going to achieve victory here, because this thing actually does quite, quite some damage. But um, I think we'll be all right. Right? I'm a bit worried, actually. No, no, I think we'll be okay. Just about. Just about. All right, so now we get the opportunity to choose another artifact. All right, so this uh, block applies mark to the attacker and deals damage equal to the hero's attack when we block... Uh, when, when, when we block an ability for, uh, from the opponent. Uh, that's actually pretty cool, in my opinion. All enemies get two marks when we start at the uh, the beginning of the battle, and hero saves half of his armor after battle. I'm going to go for the uh, this this artifact right here. I think that sounds pretty good. The uh, the first one, and increase all armor gain by four. I'm going to be taking that because the current one that we have uh, gives us one, but this increasing armor gain by four. I mean, how can I say no to that, right? And otherwise, let's see here. We're going to go upgrades after each play. That sounds fun. Let's do these. There we go. That sounds cool. All right. Yeah. So now we're on to the next little area in the jungle. Floor two of two. All right. So I basically have only uh, I have only defensive cards. I have only defensive cards. I'm a bit of an idiot, aren't I? Oh well, never mind. Okay. I think we should be fine. Hopefully. I'm taking. <gasps> what? This thing literally healed itself back up to full. What? What is actually going on here? I'm, I'm using my armor card here. I'm a bit worried for a real quick second. How is he able to heal himself so many times? He had like a cheat death mechanic or something. What a crazy guy. All right, so fight start. Oh, yeah, gives 12 armor. That's perfect. So I'm going to be taking that, and then we're just going to take a couple of other things. Um, let's see. Uh, gives armor and increase attack. Yeah, increase attack. There we go. That seems kind of nice. And then we're just going to be using this. We will be using this in just a second. There we go. We'll use that. And then we'll increase our attack. It stunned me, actually. So that that was a bit of a waste. But oh well, never mind. We were able to win. Increase attack by two. So we are going to lose attack speed. Doubles current armor. That might be kind of fun. 
get berserk for 10 seconds. So as you can see, there is a bit of a, a cutoff at the end um, at the end of the screen there. Unfortunately, we can't read that, but obviously this is a demo, so things are still, you know, in, in development. You know, all that stuff. We can forgive them, because here's the thing. We can already read what it says. Gives 10 attack speed, but the hero takes 50% more damage. I'm not going to be taking that, thank you very much. I think that's a bit too a bit too risky for my liking. So, it gives an armor card. If an if enemy is marked, gives another. That could be really, really useful. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this card that gives me armor, and then I'm just going to play these two cards so that I can get even more armor, basically. Because I think, isn't this the boss? Is this the boss? I'm actually not entirely sure. But we're just going to block ourselves right here, and then we're just going to use this. And there, there you go. That was it. That was super easy, but you, now we have more cards. You began to believe in the heart of the cards. Your cards liked it. Your cards didn't like it. Actually, never mind, you didn't. Okay, your cards liked it. They increase their quality. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's keep running. Okay, so we are going to get Berserk if I use that card now as well. So let's have a look here. Mm, uh, attacks an enemy if he is marked. Attacks once more. Uh, I'm going to be taking this. And I'll take these two. I want armor as much as possible, basically. I want armor almost all the time. And I think I can basically just allow this guy just to fight. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty easy. And now we're going to have to deal with the boss. So the boss has no fierce, apparently no fearsome abilities whatsoever. Yes, indeed. So that's actually nice. But it does 25 damage. 25 damage. This is going to be extremely damaging for us. Okay, let's see. Applies mark, gives mark trigger card. Okay. Boots. Distributes one mark between enemies on the fight start. No, I don't really care about that too much. Uh, let's go for let's go for huge amounts of armor, shall we? Mm, yeah, let's go for huge amounts of armor. And we'll go for doubles the current armor. And then we'll also stun the enemy for two seconds. That could be really, really useful for us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play our armor cards really fast. Boom. Armor card. Armor card. And then double the armor that we're getting, double the armor that we're getting, double the armor that we're getting, and then just play this. And more armor cards, more armor cards. I have 287 armor now. Let's use this to stun the enemy. And then we can also get some more armor. And then we can get Berserk for 10 seconds. Don't really want to do that. But I'm a bit worried about... Uh, actually, do I need to even worry? I don't think I even need to worry, to be honest. I mean, I have literally... Did you see how much armor I gained? Just because I stacked... Uh, the, the, the times two bonuses. That was incredible. All right. That was really fun. That was super, super fun. Ah, look at that. Guy is unlocked. Ranger guy. Okay, so we got the ranger guy now. And level unlocked. We got the dungeon. Fantastic. This is exactly what I was uh, wanting to play. So let's see what we can do here. There was a warning outside that said, don't enter. You will die. You successfully ignored it. All right. Fantastic. So let's have a look-see here. All right. Ranger guy gives one second of dodge after each card played. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, the strategy in regards to playing this fellow now is going to be basically play cards whenever the opponent is about to hit you. That's pretty much it. Let's try playing as the ranger guy. I don't, I don't, I don't know whether it's actually going to be uh, very good for me because personally, I feel like night guy just kind of suits my way of playing. But we'll see how uh, we'll see how ranger guy does for us. I'm a bit worried about this, to be fair. All right, let me see now. What what is this? Hey, you encountered multiple enemies. This feature was for the full game. Well, whatever. You could choose your target. Show them your strategic power with this card. Okay, bye-bye. All right, uh, so what, what is this card? Applies Mark. So we're just going to apply this, and then we're just going to attack that thing, which is the key, and then that opens the gate. That's actually really, really funny. <laughs> okay, I like it, I like it, all right. So we've got a bit more strategy coming into play here, uh, which is a bit worrying for me, personally. Okay, so let's see. When an enemy misses, apply one poison to him. Yes, I will take that, thank you. Attacks and applies poison. Applies poison. A attacks and applies poison. All right. Well, we like poison. I am a big fan of poison. So probably going to be doing something like that. Okay. Scroll enemies with mouse wheel. Ah, okay. So there you go. So basically what we can do is we can now see what kind of enemies we are going to be facing. This guy has a taunt. 
as you can see. So he is going to be the one that we will kill first. Everyone else, yeah, I mean, well, the one person that is otherwise in the battle cannot actually attack. It has zero attack. So the only one that can actually attack us is the skeleton. So we'll see what we can do about him. All right, so let's have a look at the timer. Boom, there we go, he missed, and now he's dead. And then we can just relax because this thing does nothing. So yeah, it's a lot more tense playing as the ranger guy because I'm gonna have to be very careful about when I use a card, you know? It's really kind of a bit more um, bit more in depth, shall we say. Okay, apply poison. Uh, should I just go for poison all the time or should we just give dodge for two seconds? Mm. Uh, I don't really like giving dodge for two seconds because I am using cards anyway and I'm already gaining the ability to dodge through my artifact, so I don't really see the necessity to gain additional duration on dodge, but it might be useful. I don't know. So I'm just going to go for poison for now. It might be completely stupid for me to do this, but, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Just waiting, just waiting. There we go. And then he dodged that, and then we can use another one, and then he dodged that. I shouldn't have used, I, you know, I shouldn't have used those, to be honest, but kind of don't want to take any damage. You encountered a very cute cactus, and now you want to hug it. Hug it or ignore your feelings? Hug it. Cactus ignored you. Hug it aggressively. You bleed. Needles tear your flesh apart. Hug. Cactus is touched by your gesture and offers his help on your adventure, and you gained a new artifact. Return all incoming damage. Okay, that's actually really... <laughs> <laughs> I almost died, okay? I almost died, but it was worth it. This is going to be interesting now. One one hit and I'm dead, basically, okay? One hit and I'm dead. So this is going to be amusing. All right, so let's see. Uh, every attack gives one second of dodge, duration four seconds. Uh, that could be good, but I'm actually still just going to go for poison, I think. Poison sounds pretty fun to me. And also your attacks deal critical damage. For four seconds, I think that sounds really nice. So we're going to be going for that one too. And then let's just do this. All right, so I'm just going to get ready for the attack. Boom, there we go. Get ready for the attack, boom. Ah, I think I'm actually dead. Am I dead? No, I was almost dead. Okay, Whew. <laughs> I am really worried. Okay, so fight start gives you critical one time. That could be useful, but I don't know whether it's that good. Uh, slows down the hero, no, uh, gives a random poison card, might be fun, sure, M more poison, more poison, more poison, uh, okay, let's do it, I've got to be really on the ball here, there we go, oh, really, oh, he had a, oh, okay, he had a, uh, a thorns type attack, he had a thorns type attack, which basically means, you know, we attack him and we die. So that um, that kind of gives me that, that, that gives me pause for thought. I, I kind of know a little bit more now about how we should do this. So let's try a little bit of a different strategy this time as well. So I'm not going to go for as much poison this time. And instead, we're going to go for critical damage and increasing attack speed and things like that. Oh, look at this. Let's go for that. That sounds fun. Yeah, that seems cool. All right, so yeah, we're not going to go for poison this time, so I'm just going to do something a little bit different. There we go. There we are. Oh, he stunned me, but I'm going to take a little bit of damage. I'm, I'm happy to take some damage. I don't really want to waste a card on that. And uh, next attack will do critical damage. Gives a random card. Each play... Oh, each card played increases your attack speed. Okay, that could be really useful. I'm going to take it. And we'll take the critical damage cards otherwise. And here we go. All right. Uh, oh, this is this is not going to be good. Okay, we got to get past this thing really, really fast, actually. I think we should be fine. Yep. Whew, that was close. That was actually much closer than I than I thought. Ah, yes. Mm, you encountered a very cute cactus, so now you want to hug it. Ignore your feelings, unfortunately. Didn't really want to have to do that, but yeah, there you go. All right. Um, applies poison. Upgrades after each play. Could be good. But I'm still going to go for uh, critical damage, attack speed, attack speed, and all that wonderful stuff. Let's go for that. There we go. Gives a random card. Okay, let's do this. Boom. And let's do this. Boom. There we go. 
perfectly fine. So that's the thing. This guy is all about being very strategic with how you play your cards. It is extremely, extremely tense to do these kinds of things right now. Okay, your attacks deal critical damage for four seconds, deal critical damage, attack an opponent, and gives dodge. All right. Uh, I don't really care about that too much. Um, yeah, I, I guess we'll just take the poison, I guess. Uh, I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to get ready here. Boom. Well, that was really easy. That encounter was just like, what? <laughs> okay, so we're up against <laughs> just a corpse. Just a corpse, nothing interesting here. All right, so yeah, we're going to have uh, one damage. He attacks really slowly from what I can tell. A random card in your hand gets this effect. Apply two poison. That might actually be kind of fun. Or I could just go for other cards that might actually be useful. I don't know, maybe I'll just go for these. There we go. All right, so I have a huge amount of um, huge amount of cards now, so I might as well use them to good effect. There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 he attacks faster, he attacks faster. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I understand. So his initial attack is really, really slow, but then it gradually increases as the fight duration uh, lasts longer and longer. Okay, so raise your damage by one when the enemy misses. Wow, that's actually incredible. Uh, increase applied increases applied dodge by one second. So in other words, we get two seconds of dodge. Not sure. Gives you crit when a card is played. I don't really care about that too much. I think artifact is. I mean, this artifact is going to be really really good. I, obviously, they don't have names for these at the moment, but I assume they they probably will at some point. Anyway, raise your damage by one when enemy misses. All right, let's do this. That sounds fun to me. All right, uh, let's go for increase attack. Uh, no, don't want this. I uh, don't want this. Don't want this. Okay, next attack will do this. Increase attack speed. There we go. All right, let's do it. Do I have do I have the same amount of cards that I had before, or do I start with new cards now? No, I start with the new cards. Okay, that's good to know. So once again, gonna be very careful about when I when I play this. There we go. I'm gonna take damage here on purpose. I'm I'm gonna take that damage. I'm I'm a bit worried about taking that damage actually right now, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be okay. Okay, so whatever the case applies. Wow times five critical okay might be cool gives a random card gives a random card why not okay okay this is gonna be this is gonna be wow um I, what what <laughs> what actually happened he just killed everything instantly okay i have no idea what even happened that was that was incredible all right so attack twice deal critical damage deal critical damage sounds fun to me yeah, we'll do that. Oh, wow. Fight start gives dodge for three seconds. Yeah, not a big fan of that, to be honest. Okay, so we're just going to continue on here. Uh, let's do damage to the bomb. Attack twice. And then... I don't want to deal critical damage to this one. There we go. Critical damage, critical damage. I just want to try and kill it before it explodes. Well... I unlocked Log Guy, which is actually a new character. So I'm actually going to go back and we're going to be playing as Log Guy because I'd like to try out all the characters. So let's have a look here. Attacks after each exhaust. You would think that it's difficult to use a log as a weapon, but not for him, apparently it says. All right. I have no idea what this means, attacks, are, att attacks after each exhaust, but I guess we're going to figure that out as we go. Okay, gives armor, exhaust. Attacks an enemy, exhaust. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. That is actually kind of... In wow, that's kind of impressive. We... Yeah. Okay. So it removes this card from the card pool and you have exhausted cards, as you can see, right over here. All right. All right. Good to know. So I'm thinking... Wow. Look at that. Plus two card for each card exhausted too. Yeah. So I can already see that this game is going to have some extremely unique play styles with every single hero that you're choosing. And in my opinion, the way that they've done the cards so far, it's looking really, really nice. So I like it. Uh, attacks and stuns an enemy. Why not? It gives a random card. Why not? Let's go for that. Okay. So going to just use this. Uh, going to stun this enemy, kill him instantly, I guess. And then we'll just deal with the, uh, the other guy. And you can see here that basically uh, the more you exhaust, the more you can attack. So... Basically, if you have an insane amount of 
cards, you can literally just attack over and over and over again. And look at this, heals 20% of max HP. What? That's incredible. If you play four exhausts in battle, it gives two cards and then gets destroyed. The boots. Okay, uh, no, I'm not going to take that. I will take this. There we go. All right. This is going to be a bit interesting. Okay, so let's just do this, do this, and then we're just going to allow my uh, my timer just to, to get it done. Okay, so now we've got a bit of an, ev an event here. One of the voices in your head. Is this game too difficult? Let me help you a bit. Faster attack speed for three battles, plus one damage for five battles. Faster attack speed for three battles. You're filled with determination. There we go. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, so let's have a look here. Stun an enemy. Hero attacks an opponent. Gives armor. Yes, gives armor. Increase attack speed. Wow, that's actually really nice. Yeah, let's go for that. For 0 0.04 seconds. Okay. Uh, and stuns hero for four seconds. Okay. Unexhausts a random card. That could be fun. Okay. Uh, that's all I can choose. All right. So let's do that. Unexhausts a random card. And we will just... Gives a random card. Is this thing going to actually kill me? Nah, nah. It's not going to kill me. There we go. Okay. I'm pretty happy about that. Because last time we just got absolutely bombed and killed instantly. So that was not particularly nice. All right. So let's just go for continuing, uh, continuing the, the theme. Defense. Defense is the theme. Indeed. As you can see, look at how easy that was. Yeah, uh, that's actually really, really nice in my opinion. Okay, so here we go. We got the corpse boss again, which in my opinion is going to be absolutely fine. I don't think we should have any problems whatsoever. Stun an enemy and then exhaust. Increase attack speed until out of battle. Okay, yeah, there we go. And plus one damage for each in the exhaust pile. Okay, that's going to be incredible. So what I'm going to do is when we get into the battle, I'm just going to spam spam these. Just going to spam everything that I can. Boom, 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 boom. And he is dead. And he can't do anything against us because we have full armor. Yeah, massive amounts of armor. Triples hero damage if no cards are exhausted. Are you serious? How am I supposed to do that? Wow, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be very difficult to do, but I can imagine that that would be incredibly fun to do if you can actually make it work. In each battle, first exhaust card is played twice. Wow, that could be really powerful. And after a card is played, you have 25% chance to draw a random card. Hmm. Yeah, gonna go for that one. That sounds good. That sounds really, really good to me. All right, so otherwise, let's see. Gives two exhausted cards. Ah, fight start, six armor. Yeah, I will definitely take that. Unexhausts a random card, unexhausts a random card. Okay, so we're just going to take uh, one of these and one of these, and then we're just going to use one and then use the other, just so that we can get the exhausted card back, basically. Um, so I will just attack immediately. Boom. And then play that again. And then we... Oh, there we go. We unexhausted something that was actually in our exhaust deck beforehand. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. Now, this guy is obviously... He might actually kill me. He, yeah, he's going to kill me. Yep. Yeah. The, the, this is a lot more mm, intentional. I, I'm not talking about the difficulty, obviously. I'm talking about the character. The character is a lot more intentional with what, how you have to think about it. Real tutorial. Wait a minute. What? This is Tutorial God's Domain. You better not anger him. Okay, wait a minute. Real Tutorial. Okay, I'm actually going to play the Real Tutorial. I'm going to play it as the Night Guy because I actually feel like he's my favorite. Even though I am... I, sh I probably shouldn't. <laughs> uh, hey. Wait. You are not a newbie. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's obviously going to very much dislike me being here. So let's see what I can do. Let's try and take out all of these okay i have no idea what he, what is even happening right here so let me uh do i even want to play that card no i don't even want to do that all right okay so is this the end is there an endless mode is there an endless mode in this surely not i have no idea all right let's give more armor gives armor makes you lose it after three seconds no i don't really like that mm. uh if he's marked do more mm. yeah i really want that artifact that applies mark automatically when someone blocks that could be really, really good for us. Okay, we'll just go with this. Let's apply the mark right there. And I'm just going to apply some more armor. 
and apply the mark again. I actually don't even know what the mark really does. Does it increase our damage to the opponent or something like that? I think I think so. Something along those lines. And there we go. Okay, so we're not doing too badly with the amount of damage that we're taking right now, but you can see just exactly what's even going on here. You know, there's so much going on and you have to react really pretty fast. Okay, so ah, uh, yeah, applies mark and then gives a mark trigger card. Might be cool. Gives reincarnation with 100% of max HP for one second. I don't know what that means. Should I take it? Yeah, let's take it. Uh, I have no idea what that does. So I guess we're just going to, uh, I guess we'll just find out. Um, do I want to use it now? Oh, okay. No, I wasted that. All right. I completely wasted that. Okay. So basically reincarnation, that, that card, what that does or what it's supposed to do is you are supposed to use it when you're about to die. So when you see yourself about to die, you use it in that time window, the one second that it takes for the buff to uh, to leave your character, and then it will revive you with 100% HP. That's really, really cool, actually. I like that. All right, so let's have a look. And what can we go for here? Ah, there we go. Marked. Uh, what other cards do I have? Doubles current armor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, attacks give armor for four seconds. I guess these would probably be pretty good and we'll take the hat as well. There we are. Okay, so attacks give armor for four seconds. Let's use this. That is the best I can do. That is literally the best I can do. If I am unable to win this now, then, uh, well, cheerio, I guess. But uh, no, it seems like we were able to, to win. This is a lot more difficult than the, um, than the previous one. Okay, wait a minute. You encountered a super secret tutorial about how to destroy your deck. Hyper exhaust all common cards or hyper exhaust all rare cards. Yeah, all the rare cards, thank you. All rare cards are now unplayable. Hyper exhaust all legendary cards. Yes, I'll take that. All rare and legendary cards are now unplayable. Good luck with the boss. Ah, oh, thanks so much. All right. Well, I mean, there's not much I can do, really. Every one card played gives four armor. Is that worth it? I don't think so. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just go for this, let's go for this, and let's go for this. I think that seems pretty good. Maybe the attack speed could be good, but I'm, I'm actually just going to go for this for now. And we'll see what happens. Is this the boss? No, I don't think so, right? Okay, so we're just going to do this. And I don't think I really need to do much more. Do I? Do I need to play another card right here? Mm, no, I should be fine. All right. Whew. All right, so yeah, so this basically means now that every single time we are going to pick cards, no rare cards and no legendary cards will um, will show themselves. Okay, so wait a minute, increase attack by one. Where where am I? Uh, where, where where's my equipment? Oh, it's because my equipment's got gotten banned, hasn't it? It's gotten banned by the well, it's gotten it's gotten exhausted, shall we say? Okay, that's interesting. Right. <laughs> If the hero has no armor, gives armor. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. And gives six armor upgrades after each play. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's go with those. Okay, uh, if hero has no armor, gives armor. Well, I'm going to have armor now. There we go, 25. Very nice. And let's just continue to buff ourselves with this. And there you go. That's all I can really do, unfortunately. But yeah, banning all of those cards or exhausting all of those cards actually removed all of my items. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not that's not particularly good. I'm just really, really happy that my artifact didn't get removed because otherwise I would have been in a huge, huge problem. Um, yeah, huge problematic situation. All right, so wait a minute. Implies mark for every four armor you have. Mm, distributes two marks between enemies. Target takes 25% more damage when they are marked. Could be useful. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just apply mark for every four armor I have and we'll take the boots. There we go. All right, and obviously we're not gonna have armor when we start, so, oh my, are you serious right now? Wow. Okay, well, it seems like they all share HP. They all seem to share HP in some way or another, so I should be okay. 
They seem to be healing each other as well, which is rather amusing, but they don't seem to be doing that much damage, at least. Yep. There you go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> This is, this is pretty epic. All right, you encountered a super secret tutorial about how to sell your soul to the tutorial god. Okay, go through the tutorial, politely decline, and flip him off. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Tutorial god is angry. Deals two damage to self. That's literally what he gave me right now. All right, yeah, well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I, not really. <laughs> I can't really do much. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, we'll take these, I guess. What's this? Increase all armor gain by 8. Yeah. Okay, so don't play cards. Wait. Just says don't play cards. Why not, though? Does something happen if I don't play cards? It does 4 damage to me right now. I'm, sh I'm assuming he goes berserk if you, if, you, uh, if you play cards. But I might die. I'm going to win. Ooh, that was close. That was really, really close. I don't know what would have happened, you see. I have no idea what would have happened if I had um, not done that. Okay, so wait a minute. Gives reincarnation with 100% max HP for one second. Yeah, so we're going to take that. Increase max HP by 20. I don't really like that that much in comparison to the armor gain. I think armor gain is just so incredibly good. Um, are we also going to be taking if hero has no armor, gives armor. That's perfect. And otherwise, should we take another reincarnation card? Two, two reincarnation cards? Uh, I think that might be a bit much, but uh, we'll see. Forces allies to steal cards. Oh. Oh dear. Right. Uh, okay, we're gonna take an attack card instead then. There we are. Okay, so let's do this. Oh no, I literally just... Okay, uh, let's just use, do that. And they're gonna steal my cards right here. Yep, they're stealing all of my cards, which I... That was very well well placed. That's all I can say. That was very well placed by the developers right there. They placed that particular encounter in one of the worst positions for me ever. That was really, really well done, actually. Okay, so let's see what I can do. Uh, I think I should be fine. Um, yeah, I think I should be okay, just purely for the fact that we have so much armor right now. Um, but I was really, really hoping that I wouldn't, um... Okay, so we're actually fighting Mr. Clippy now. Wanna play this card? Whoops! You didn't need it anyway, right? Okay, yeah, I did need that card, actually. Next card will be played against you, make your move. I've already played all my cards, you absolute imbecile. <laughs> uh, uh, thankfully. Since you like cards so much, why not add a couple more? And then he's given me plus two, yeah, deal two damage to self. That's literally all he's given me right now. What an absolute troll. I am going to lose, unfortunately. But there you go. <laughs> That's actually really, really fun. I gotta say, that is a really, really fun experience. And I gotta say, you, you really, I think you've really got to try this out. You've really got to try this out right now. This is Run Gore, the beginner experience. And if you would like to check it out, there is a link in the description. And uh, definitely wishlist the full game. I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be getting the full game, or I'm going to try to get the full game at least. And um, yeah, this is a huge amount of fun. If you like roguelikes, deck builders, auto battlers, auto runners, whatever, they just meld that all together in an absolutely wonderful, very comedic, humorous experience. Really, really nice, I gotta say. I enjoyed it a great deal. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.